What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video production theme video. Uh, I upload video production theme videos every single week here on my channel. But without further ado, we're going to be tackling the problem of how to add a watermark to your videos. This is very, very simple. By all means, uh, you know, don't be offended though if, it, if it's not simple to you. We're going to show you how to do it in a matter of seconds here. Now, my, per my personal uh, form of adding a watermark is going to be adding a watermark to client work that I've just completed. This is a video I've just completed for uh, a club that, you know, is pretty, pretty near to me. I went, filmed this, edited it with my business partner, Noah, and this is the final result. Now we need to send this to a client, but I don't want to send it to them and risk the fact that they could just steal this video and, you know, not pay me, which is, you know, it, 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 it's definitely a valid concern. Now this, uh, this basically adding a watermark is a way around that that you can kind of send them the video they can see everything but you can guarantee they're gonna send you the money now by all means you might not be adding a watermark to make sure you get your money you might be adding a watermark for any number of reasons but this is how you do it so I'm gonna import my final project drag it into here and it's very very simple how we do this we simply press T get our text tool up and this can be done in any video editor by the way I'm just using Premiere it's the easiest to me use whatever is easiest to you just get your text tool up and literally write anything. It could be watermark, it could be dem demo, or it could literally be something stupid like pay me my money and then I'll, I'll send you the bid. Basically anything. The point of this text is just to actually uh, add a stain to your video so that they can't steal it and, um, you know what I mean, actually use it without your permission of sending you the money for the project or, or agreeing on the terms of the video or whatever. So I'm just gonna change the font just to make my text look a little bit better. Drag it out throughout the entire video just so it lasts the whole time. And usually what I'll do, I'll change this text because it is pretty stupid, I can't lie. Um, <laughs> I'll just put watermark, right? Boom, all one word. I'd probably increase the size of it, maybe rotate it so it's kind of uh, ruining more of the video, um, and then just actually drag it up here to a corner so that it kind of rests up there, but it still comes down into the video so that you can't just take this video. It's pretty obvious there's a watermark there. And then just to you know make it a little bit less of, you know, an, an annoyance while watching it so that the client can still watch the video, enjoy it, and not be too put off by that, but it's still there so that they can't steal it. Um, I would just go to the opacity, turn that to 1% so that you, you'll you see. I'll, I'll find a pretty light scene in a minute. So here it's on 1%, you can see it a little bit, but when we go into a light scene, for example, like almost that here, you can't even see it at all, 100%. But Obviously, if we keep playing, you can see up there a bit, you can see it there, and it's not enough to actually ruin the video for you. You're not instantly drawn to it. However, the client is obligated to send you the money and, and complete the deal with you professionally without trying to screw you over, take the video and not pay you, or you know, without getting funny, all sorts of stuff. Basically, pretty much all the time I use the watermark with clients, um, more so recently than before, but I've never actually had a problem with a client taking the video and not paying me. Um, you know, a couple times we were almost close to it. We were having a little argument, but everything was fine in the end. Honestly, the watermark is just to protect both of you. If you're making good quality content, the client doesn't care anyways because they're just gonna pay you like they already thought they were gonna, and you're gonna get the money and just send them the unwatermarked version right away afterwards. It's not a big deal whatsoever at all, but boom. That is very simply how you would go about actually adding a watermark to your projects. Now, for my personal, form of adding a watermark, like I said, it was to add a watermark to push a client away from being able to take my video. Um, by all means, you might be adding a watermark to sell stock footage, for example, like, you know, you see like Shutterstock on the stock footage and stuff like that. That's so you have to buy the clip and then they send you the unwatermarked version. It's basically just to give you a preview of what you're offering without them just being able to rip that and just kind of steal it without paying you what you deserve or agreeing and finalizing the deal in a professional manner. But anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'm a Jack. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did and you're not subscribed, subscribe for more video production themed videos every single week, whether that be video editing, videography, freelance, basically all stuff based around video production. I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as YouTuber, basically just producing content based around this subject matter. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.